How you doing? This is Ivan from Bite Size Wisdom for Busy People, and I'm back to share another idea to help you live more consciously. Today our topic is on cycles, the news, and how all this deals with our self-development, with our own personal lives. So I'm going to try to give just a simple, brief overview of possibly how all this works. So bear with me. So let's start off first with the cycles. Anyone who observes life, who observes society, we can all see that there's always certain cycles that are unfolding. If you watch the news, you will see that there's certain themes, certain events that keep reoccurring, keep popping up. And although they may look different on the surface, they are essentially the same things repeating. And at our own personal level, there's smaller cycles that are unfolding. There's events that keep reoccurring in our own life. So let's imagine that our life is just a small gear and society is composed of these bigger gears, these bigger cycles. So we have this complex machine of big gears and small gears just spinning and humming along. So as you observe the events that are happening around the world, as you observe all the various news items, if you want to know what your relationship is to the bigger cycle that's unfolding, you simply need to observe and notice what your attitudes are towards these events because our attitude is the invisible link so by noticing and observing what your attitudes are you can get some clues as far as how this larger cycle that's unfolding how it may possibly impact your own little corner of the universe and if you don't like and sense that you are connected to this larger event in a way that's not going to be where you want to go then you need to insulate yourself from this larger cycle so that means you need to change your inner attitudes because our attitude as i mentioned is what connects us to the larger event it's what attracts the events to our life so by changing our attitudes, we can insulate ourselves and not be influenced as much. So now what I want to talk about is what is actually behind the cycles? What causes the cycles and these certain certain events that happen on Earth? So from an esoteric point of view, we learn that it's the planets. So the planets out there moving around doing their thing is what causes certain events and the cycles here on Earth. So a simple way to think about this, to illustrate this, is just imagine that you are walking on a sidewalk and as you're approaching someone, as you get closer, you may start to sense the person's energy. You may start to feel that they have a good vibe, a bad vibe. As you get closer, you may start to feel a certain tension. So much in the same way, these planetary bodies and their movements out in space will cause certain vibrations, certain uh, emanations to go out and will cause the cycles and the events that happen here on earth so now I need to talk about these planetary influences so these planetary influences will influence us differently depending on our level of being on our level of consciousness so now I'll make a distinction between people who are asleep and people who are awake so people who are asleep are people who are at a lower level of development which means that it's people who derive their sense of identity and live their life believing that they are their personality so here personality is everything that we've acquired from our upbringing it's all our conditioning and a person who is awake is someone who is living more and is in tune and in touch with their essence and here essence is whatever we bring into the world that is intrinsically ours so everybody when we're born we bring to earth our essence which is who we really are it's what's real in us but as we get older and we become conditioned by life and we get a personality then our personality will just become a hard shell over our essence until and to the point that we are no longer and completely cut off from our essence so we are all completely cut off from what is real and intrinsic to who we are and this is the source of all our suffering 
because as most people get older they always feel that there's a certain void that we're incomplete and it's this connection to our essence so this is part of our self-development journey is learning to see that our personality is not what's really and intrinsically who we are and as we do that we start to recognize and get in touch with our essence and start to awaken all the latent energies within us so as we become more awake then these planetary influences will influence us in a different way than if we are asleep if we are asleep and living mainly from our personality then these planetary influences will imping upon our psyche and cause us to behave and think in a certain way and you can see this as we said in the cycles that are happening around the world and most notably with wars this is how people become totally hypnotized and go along with something that they know is not right let's say with all the big wars that have happened this is where millions of people are completely under spell and will do something that they know is not right and are just hypnotized and if you are at that level of being asleep then you are at the mercy of these planetary influences that will cause us to behave in certain ways but if you don't want to be influenced in the same way as the masses and be part of the herd mentality then you need to awaken and become conscious and get in touch with your essence with what's real and in doing so you will not be impacted and influenced in the way that everybody else is so you'll be in this world but not of it and it's interesting to see how these cycles play out and how this mass hysteria just takes over people and you know after the cycles over people kind of snap out of it and just wonder how they were just so oblivious to what was going on you know totally hypnotized so that's because they're asleep when you're asleep you are not in control you are susceptible to these higher influences that will cause you to behave in a way that may not be in tune with who you really are and your vision for your life so that's why it's interesting to study these cycles and understand how these cycles possibly work and connecting it to our own life but the important thing here is just to know that if you're asleep you're gonna be at the mercy of certain influences that would not affect you in the same way if you were awake so if you become awake then you will be under less laws less influence and be more free all right guys hope you enjoyed that video i know it's a lot to take in i hope um it was useful in some way and maybe helped you see things in a different light all right guys take care wherever you are in the world much love